I am so glad to talk about my new class, Embryologic Planes of Fusion, EPOF. It's a very uh, interesting concept and there's a mechanical explanation, but there's a lot of depth in it. So when two tissue comes together, same type of tissue or different types of tissue in embryo, the information that happen in the environment, for example, your parents are fighting, you have toxicity, is going to be trapped in the plane of fusion. And you need to maybe readjust this properly, but also sometimes during you know a fight or something, those plane of fusion can get off and be in dysfunction and you need to replace them. So there's something very interesting to work in that space and there's a lot of depth. And we're going to work with that on so many levels. I think I have this concept for 30 years, but I really fine-tune this concept and work with it even more. Now it's something that is really deep and ready. We have about 35 labs or more, almost 400 slides. So I'm going to share some of those slides. For example, here, the endoderm is going to create this tube and fuse. And we have a very interesting thing happening with the digestive system here. On the face, you have different seam. For example, here on the face of a human embryo, you have the nasolacrimal groove here. Here you have a bucolacrimal groove here. When they close, they create seams. There are many, many more. I'm creating a new designer for explaining all these grooves. You have just two labs on the face. There's so many seams. Something very interesting for hearing loss. And I help my wife, she had a hearing loss and it's completely gone. So she called this class now Epoff the Magic Dragon. <laughs> so you see you have six different parts of the ear and you have some seam in the pinna, the auricle, and mainly on the tympanic membrane that is made of the three tissue, mesoderm, endoderm, and ectoderm. And working on the tympanic membrane, then you can feel the three ossicles. We are going to help really a lot of hearing loss in your patient. The eye also have a chorid seam here or fissure that close. If they don't close properly, we, you have what we call coloboma. Here, this didn't fuse properly. So we're going to work with the eyes, the lens, the teeth, fuse also in the gum, the heart palate, the premaxilla and the maxilla, the tongue, fuse in different parts. Here, you have the hyoid bone between the second and third arch. Mainly, you're going to have fun with the bone muscle interface, which is a tendon. We're going to release a lot of things for the intruder that cannot release. That's why bones, joints, fascia, lymphatic, whatever you work on, artery and veins and nerve. But by working on the tendon, I was finally able to release shoulder that could not release for so many years. This inflammation of the tendon is something really, really special. And that really released the muscle very, very well. That was something that was missing. You can work on Achilles tendon, tendons of the knee, of the neck. So we had a class on the ligaments. Now the tendons are going to create magic. You're going to see. Also, we're going to see the planes of fusion of the central nervous system for sure. Somites are going to create these, the bones and they're fusing in different places. We saw that in far U and far L. But we're going to do new things also here with all the bones of the body. The skull, we're going to work with different fontanelles. The endoderm also fuse, as we mentioned. And we're going to look for this fusion in the esophagus, stomach, duodenum, large intestine, small intestine, the uterus also. The heart also fuse. You have here the two heart tubes that fuse. And you're going to see fusion here, fusion in the septum, different place like that. And finally, we're going to do some skin fold. It's not exactly fusion, but there's some interesting skin fold in the adult that stays from the embryo. So it's a fascinating class, very specific. Prepare yourself a little bit with a list of, of words, please. And we will ha be happy to see you there.